Hello Cobrats and welcome back to Undertale, I'm Triclet Tamer. Off screen I decided to go into an alternate dimension and buy the mystery key from Brad and Caddy's shop, so I have bought the key, the key disappeared as we enter this mysterious red house that has a lot of books. Dear Diary, Shiren's sister fell down recently. It's sad, without her sister to speak for her, she's become more reclusive than ever. So I reached out to her, and told her, that she, Blueki, and I should all perform together sometime. She seemed to like that idea. Alright, getting a little bit of backstory into something. Dear Diary, I like to buy a new diary for every entry I make. I love to collect diaries. The third one, Dearest Diary, our cousin left the farm to become a training dummy. That leaves just Blueki and I. Blueki asked me if I was going to try to become corporeal too. They sounded so resigned. Come on, Blueki. You know I'd never leave you behind. And besides, I'd never find the kind of body I'm looking for anyway. My darling diary. I met someone interesting today. Last week I posted the advertisement for my human fan club. Today was our first meeting. Only one other person came. Honestly, she's a dork. She's obsessed with these awful cartoons. She's kind of funny, too. I want to see her again. Fifth one. Diary, my dear. My diary collection is going fabulously. I have like five now. And the final one. Dear diary, she surprised me with something today. Sketches of a body that she wants to create for me. A form beyond my wildest fantasies. In a form like that, I could finally feel like myself. After all, there's no way I could be a star the way I am now. Sorry, Blueki. My dreams can't wait for anyone. Alright. So, we seem to have learned a little something about somebody. I have a feeling that this is going to be very relevant in this very episode of Let's Play Undertale. Let's make our return to the Hotland Core. And finally, here we are, even three months after the last clip. It's been a while because of... Ravali's Gale is now ready, and... The Blood Moon rises once again. Please be careful, Link. Anyway, yeah, let's go through this little bit of hot land. Pass this way, we can see the ice cubes. Yes, the wolf way back in Snowden is tossing that, and it's coming over here to power everything all around. The volume's kind of loud, so I'm about to turn it down a second. Solve this puzzle, and the end open. Uh, hopefully this doesn't mess anything up while I bring my volume down a very tiny bit. Might actually hear it as it is right there. Alright, here we go. We got another shooting puzzle. I knew these weren't done. And let's see if I can kind of blindly mess myself around. Let's see, I want to get one more in there. Or maybe just get a couple right here. Uh, let's get you guys down there. You down. Uh, I did this like flawlessly in practice, but even then, practice was a while ago. And I do have two shots, so as long as I can uh, get one through, I'll be fine. Oh, there we go. That's how we do it. After a little bit of trial and error, I still think that thing right there looks like an evil tiki face, kind of like Squidward's house, or kind of reminds me of how things would look in Superstar Saga. I don't know. The end is seemingly to be opening. I can't English too greatly. There's a glam burger inside the can. Yeah, let's take that glam burger. You got the glam burger. Why not relax and have a nice snack? I'm way ahead of you, buddy. Almost looks like a fish was in there, but nope, it's a glam burger. Traverse the northern room and the end will open. So what is in this northern room? I believe that would be the way to more of an end. So, I guess to have a means for an end, we will be exploring elsewhere. What's right here? 100 gold is a trash can. Heck yeah, I'll take that. No battles are starting quite yet, but I believe that momentarily one may start just because I'm starting to mention it. Cannot fight it, cannot think, but with patience I'll make my way through. Yeah, I want to try to read all these things. To the east, this is the end. Oh, is that the actual end? Oh yeah, that's the way you'd eventually end up too, so let's just uh, go side and then north. Let's make sure I'm getting my bearings straight. The end will open, so I do have to do a little something right here before I actually go to that eastern area. And here we go to some battles. We got a Whimslaw and Final Frog. I don't believe we've seen these enemies because, well, it's been a while since I've practiced even. So let's go ahead and check on them. Whimslaw, attack 34, defense 12, finally stopped worrying. I've made my choice. Woof, says the final froggit. Plot twist, it's actually a doggit, and I am not doing too well at playing this game. Can I mercy anyone? No, because it's not yellow. Did it did do I like the music? 
Uh, pray? Nah, that's not how you do it. This isn't Earthbound. Let's do the console, or console like the Nintendo Switch. You are sure when it's not that it's, that what it's doing is alright. I've made my piece. Rob it, rob it. Rob it, rotten. Ooh, I'm not doing too great at dodging. I might actually get a very brief game over. No, I'm not. Shakes his head dismissively. I can't screw anybody. Uh... I think I have to pray. You know, and pray for safety when flat room is conscious. Don't give up. There we go. That's how you do it. And I've done that. This may actually be the first game over I've actually gotten on screen. I think, period, actually. You cannot give up just yet. Justin, stay determined. Someone's finally saying my name for once. Yep, that's the game over screen right there. Oh, man. Uh, okay, you don't have to do the puzzle again. I guess I'll see you back in that battle. There's still hope. Let's go for the green. Yeah, get out of this. And okay, I'm at kind of a small window, but at least I don't have to worry about running into the circliness of the wind and stuff. All right, let's get you out of the picture. You know, you're still in the picture. Skip and jump. Oh, it's gonna be crazy with it instead of just a simple jump. Let's ask what final frog it's all about. Filled with snow and mustard seed. Eh, that's a little disgusting. Uh, did I check on the final frog? It might as well. Attack 30, defense 20 forward. Future looks brighter and brighter. Rob it, rob it. You ain't too rotten, except for that smell of mustard seed. Eh, why am I not doing too great? I'm out of practice because I've not been playing RPGs. Did I forget why he's here? No, it's exactly why he's here. Okay. Uh, let's uh, do the complimentation. It's attack dropped. Nod, nod. I get ya. Ooh, ooh, I'm surprised I didn't get hit by that. I'm not getting hit by anything. It's crazy. It's reminding me of the hot-footed frogs they have to pick up. Intimidated by strength. Let's do a mystifying. You did something mysterious about Roger Recognize that has more to learn from this world. Thoughtful croak. Maybe it's thoughtfully dying inside, but not IRL, so I don't accrue that EXP. Reluctant to fight. Let's spare. Yay, 100 gold. I'm low on HP, so I'm going to backtrack briefly so I can heal. And I believe with the sectionalization that there are going to be more battles, of course. I was talking in the middle of that. Ooh, mercenaries emerge from the shadows. Alright. I don't need to bother checking on anybody, so let's keep up the singing to put the night night to sleep. Close your eyes. Hocus focus. Open your eyes. It's time to wake up. Anyway, enough bot woo, as I call that game that everybody is talking about in this day and age. Keep singing, closes its eyes a little bit more. Close your eyes, go to sleep. Alakazam. <laughs> that reminds me that I haven't really been playing much Pokemon. I was going to play a little bit of Sun and Moon last night and do some shiny hunting, but that didn't really happen. Because I was sleepy. Even though Pokemon doesn't really require much confidence, just gotta make sure that you don't kill shinies or uh, keep track of your power points when you're doing the SOS chaining methods. But I remember the name of it because all that's been on my mind is Bot Woo. Anyway, I keep talking about that game, not enough about Undertale. Tinkle Tinkle Hoy. That's almost Tinkle Tinkle Kulu Rinpa. I don't know why I was trying to make that more difficult than it needs to be. Lots of orbs and missing mana. Uh, how's that to do to his clear mind? I'm pretty sure. Defense, blah blah blah, increasing of that defense. Alright, this might put me at 1 HP if I get hit by anything, but I do not wish to be hit by anything. Whispers Arcane swear words. What the heck is this going on as that clear mind? I don't think that's how you do it, because I think you need to get to a point to where you yourself are confused, and then you can spare it to the one that's happy about himself. Let's stare. Uh, let's stare at the corner orb. The intimidating corner arrow was weakened by your glare. Focus, focus, I'm spending a little too much time on this. But at least I'm experimentating on all of these things. There's a mysterious jig, still can't quite spare it. I think it's just talk that will do. Seems satisfied. Alakazam! Ah, what exactly is to be done at this point in time of my life? Alright, oh, I guess we can spare it now that it's yellow, of course. If I can actually hit uh, X and not try not square, had to get confused with my controller layout after playing, you know, that game. New enemy, we got the astigmatism. Should I let it do its own attacks, or should I just check it? 32, 26, the limitless bully always gets this way. Robert Robert, don't pick on me, shine, shine. Ooh, man, we got quite a few targets that I gotta be careful not to get hit by as long as I keep on talking, maybe I won't get hit. <laughs> Dang, my audio spiked on Audacity. That's all there. Spin this weapon around. Uh, what's most dangerous enemy? I might as well act on the assignment a little bit. I'm not going to pick on it. You don't pick on it. 
finally someone gets it. And I believe that's all we have to do to die, and also to spare the astigmatism. But yeah, here we go, two game overs not too far apart. It cannot end now! Justin, stay determined! Thank you, mysterious voice in the void. I will stay determined, and continue after this game over, of course. Pick on me. Shine, shine, thoughtful, croak, blah, 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 gotta dodge these attacks and keep on talking through it so I do not get hit, but I got hit right there, of course. Alright, let's get you out of the equation. You've seen enough, no regrets. Haha, <laughs> you're making jokes about vision because you're an astigmatism. Such a weird word. Like, is it astigmatism like article noun or an astigmatism article full on noun with the things? I don't know. Let's just uh, not pick on you. You don't pick on it. What are you so afraid of? I've made my choice. I think you do have to like challenge it or something that's different from uh, the ones at the beginning. I do believe maybe. Yeah, because you have to challenge two things. Other monsters are impressed. You dare defy me? You must die. All right, let's talk about a different Zelda game that people aren't so thrilled about. If you could even call it a Zelda game. Okay, I guess I spared you without even trying really. Okay. Oh, it's because they got impressed and then I dodged their attacks and it was just too much. Uh, I guess I do pick on you, you pick on it. That's right. Maybe it's just a reverse psychology, making it not reverse psychology kind of deal. Doesn't care about fighting anymore. Let's be spared and I'm pretty sure that's the last little bit of enemies before I hit the switch right here. Always have to snap my fingers in this day and age. See, I'm saying that again. Uh, focus on the game at hand here. And I believe there's gonna be another little romp of fights when we get headed that way. If I, if my memory serves me correctly. Or maybe it might not. I, there might be a little bit more to see. That's just the, uh, like a straight down thing and not a pathway down. If I cannot think, blah blah blah, I can just continue this way. Might have been more things to read, but I don't know. Are there gonna be a price? I guess it's just the random counter here. Random encounter here have to be more meticulous about what I'm saying. Pick on me. I am picking on you. I will pick you to the end of your day. Okay, I was about to not speak too soon, but I didn't get hit there. There we go. Is this the end of the rope? Yes, I do believe so. That's a very strange winged soul symbol. Behind the store must be the elevator to the king's castle. You're filled with determination. Well, alright, let's just go into the elevator. But nope, that's not the elevator to the place because that's way back to the start of here. Okay, I guess I can listen to the music briefly and get all caught up. I'm not going to end the episode because it's been quite a while since I've done anything and a lot of stuff's been edited out. Uh, I believe we have some sufficient items for a fight, because I do believe a fight is coming up. Let's move in here, to this dark room. Oh yes, there you are, darling. It's time to have our little showdown. It's time to finally stop the malfunctioning robot, quote quote. Not malfunction, reprogramming, get real. This was all just a big show, an act. Alphys has been playing you for a fool the whole time. As she watched you on the screen, she grew attached to your adventure. She desperately wanted to be a part of it, so she decided to insert herself into your story. She reactivated puzzles. She disabled elevators. She enlisted me to torment you. Also, she could save you from dangers that didn't exist. Also, you would think she's a great person. That she's not. And now, it's time for her finest hour. At this very moment, Alphys is waiting outside the room. During our battle, she will interrupt. She will pretend to deactivate me, saving you one final time. Finally, she'll be the heroine of your adventure. You'll regard her so highly, she'll even be able to convince you not to leave. Or not. You see, I've had enough of this predictable charade. I have no desire to harm humans. Far from it, actually. My only desire is to entertain. After all, the audience deserves a good show, don't they? And what's a good show? Without a plot twist. Hey, what's going on? The door just locked itself. Sorry, folks. The old program's been cancelled. But we've got a finale that will drive you wild. Here we go. Rising Battlefield. Real drama. Real action. Real bloodshed. On our new show, Attack of the Killer Robot. 
Here we go. I believe this is our ultimate battle against the Metaton here with our yellow abilities. Good old music with Metaton attacking. Let's just do a quick little check. 30 and 255. Seriously, his metal body is invulnerable. Yes, I was the one that rearranged the core. I was the one that hired everyone to kill you. That, however, was a short-sighted plan. You know what would be a hundred times better? Killing you myself. Alright. Do things and it's clinking off. That worthless pea shooter won't work on me, darling. So I guess I have to resort to a repeater. Like in Plants with Zombies, that'd be kind of fun to play. I have a plane ride coming up in a couple days, so I do want to record a little bit of this and maybe get it uploaded. And maybe get some stuff set up for a plane ride, you know. Uh, how about the burning? This is probably what you'll do if things continue in this manner. Listen, darling, I've seen you fight. You're weak. If you continue forward, Asgore will take your soul. And with your soul, Asgore will destroy humanity. Oh, here we go, gotta do some um, dodging right there to get that stuff out of my way. I thought I heard my dog barking right there. Metaton. I'll just keep that. That's all you do, things keep going. But if I get your soul, I can stop Asgore's plan. I can save humanity from destruction. Just gotta do that, and if you hit those things, they will get moving. Yeah, like that. Okay, with the yellow one. Metaton, I will spare you. Then, using your soul, I'll cross through the barrier and become the star I've always dreamed of being. Hundreds, thousands, no, millions of humans will watch me. So you don't care who watches you, just as long as you get the show on the road with yourself. A, a little bomb thing you just have to move out of the way of. Glitz, glamour, I'll finally have it all. So what if a few people have to die? That's show business, baby. Phone call time. Can I go over here and answer? No. Uh, I can't see what's going on in there, but uh, don't don't give up, okay? Uh, there's one last way to beat Metaton. It's, um, it's... Uh, this is work in progress, so don't judge it too hard. But you know how Metaton always uh, faces forward? That's because there's a switch on his backside. So if you can turn him around, um... And um, press the switch. He'll be um, he'll be vulnerable. Well, gotta go. Seems like a good time to turn Metaton around. Okay, not the sparing kind of deal, but the turning kind of deal. You tell Metaton that there's a mirror behind him. Oh, a mirror? Right. I have to look perfect for our grand finale. Mm, I don't see it. Where is it? We have flipped the switch. Did you just flip my switch? I guess I did, but I feel like this is a time where I say, oh no. Oh yes. Oh my! If you flipped my switch, that can only mean one thing. You're desperate for the premiere of my new body. How rude. Lucky for you, I've been aching to show this off for a long time. So, as thanks, I'll give you a handsome reward. I'll make your last living moments... ABSOLUTELY BEAUTIFUL! Here's the real battle, Metaton EX makes his premiere. Alright, let's check him out. Quite a thing to check out. Attack is 47, defense is 47. A fabulous number, his weak point is his heart-shaped core. Lights! Camera! Action! Alright, so the way this battle works is we just have to keep on going. We don't really aim to kill, we just aim to fight and work around with it. The ratings are going down, so we have to keep on doing things that would make it be good. So let's start with a little posing thing, make it dramatic. He posed dramatically, the audience nods. The audience that's not here, it's like Paper Mario 2 kind of thing. Drama! Romance! Bloodshed! Alright, so, yep, here come the bomb doodly doos, and the way, and then the little umbrella tossers are going to toss those tub of blubble looking hearts at you. Metaton. I'm going to boast! You say you aren't going to get hit at all! Ratings gradually increase during Metaton's turn. I'm the idol everyone craves! So, yeah, it's kind of good to just do the thing when you know it's not going to be a bad attack. That <laughs> I kind of did that without really thinking, but I didn't get hit there. Uh, did I get the ratings? Uh, they're counting down, so I should probably be a little bit more careful and quick how I do things. You turn and scoff the audience, they're rooting for your destruction this turn. Smile for the camera. But uh, I do believe if you get hurt, the ratings actually would go up, so... Uh, okay, there we go. Justice plus 100. It rains from above. Metaton. Kind of low on HP, but I believe I can... Uh, a little bit and bring these ratings up and not be too bad about it. 
audience applause with the drama. Ooh, it's time for a pop quiz. I hope you brought a keyboard. This one's an essay question. What do you love most about Metatonic? You know, it says, why do you love most? I'm just going to put legs. There are a number of things that you can put here, but legs is one of them in particular. That's right, legs was the correct answer. Uh, you could look up on your own time different things that you could say. Little ways that you can break the fourth wall a little bit too. Metaton is saving your essay for future use. Somehow I doubt that. Uh, let's do the heel turn thing again. Turn and scuff, blah blah, blah rooting for your destruction. Your essay really showed everyone your heart. Why don't I show you mine? Alright, so here's where we get going. We just want to strike at the heart. Don't have to worry about dying because that is actually our objective that we must follow. Do a little bit of seemingly damage and cause the... Uh, it kind of reminds me of some kind of game where... Be, I guess Kirby, I guess. <laughs> I was trying to think of how things could be. <laughs> but it's pie. And I'm not going to bother healing with anything yet. If you do use a glam burger, it will increase your ratings a little bit because it is like a Metaton kind of brand. Let's go ahead and pose and get that stimulation going a little bit. Ooh, I'm just warming up. Get all you guys out of the way so you don't shoot your stuff. You're the only thing shooting at me anyway. Watch out for the Mario umbrellas. Definitely Mario. Metaton. Let's do the heel turn. Keep it like that. But how are you on the dance floor? Okay, just get ready for this disco ball. Blue, you just have to sit and wait. White, you might want to change it to blue. I got blue. Alright, there we go. Metaton. Posing. I just thought just keep that going. Can you keep up the pace? Why, yes I can. Just keep that rhythm going. Don't be too trigger happy with it. Ooh, I'm surprised I didn't take damage there. Kind of seems like I should have. I need to quit talking just keep on going. Despite being hurt, you pose dramatically. The audience applause. Lights! Camera! Bombs! Alright, so we got a little bit of a small window to work with. We didn't want to shoot at bombs because those white things just won't really do anything. Pose her up. Despite being hurt, you pose dramatically. Blah blah blah. Things are blowing up. Alright, we're picking up the speed a little bit. You want to just, uh, uh, like that. That's how you'll do it with things. Uh, I'm just gonna bolt. So you're not gonna hear that at all. Blah blah blah. Time for our union regulated break. At least it's not onion regulated. Happy break time! Na, 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 I do love the music here, Death by Glamour, and oh, here we go with the dance moves. Uh, we do want to get up to 10,000, so I'm just gonna pose. If I do get hurt, I will heal with the Glam Burger. We've grown so distant, darling. How about another heart to heart? Let's get all these things out of the way. A few less targets to worry about. Just gotta watch for the bolts of lightning as well, the thunderbolts. Uh, how much HP does Glamberger restore? I'm pretty sure it stores 20. I don't want to deliberately get hit though, even though it just did. Violence gets me going a little bit. Alright, we're kind of breaking you apart there, Metaton. Not like it's really a bad thing. Where's my Glamberger? Oh, I was about to say, like, with my couple game overs that I forget to pick it up again. I knew I had at least one more. On oh, brand food, you ate the Glamberger. Audience loves the brand. HP maxed out. Uh, arms? Who needs arms with legs like these? In fact, you told me about them in your essay. I'm still going to win. Kind of went a little too homosexual right there. Okay, oh, you actually have to hit these little things right there. The block of blues. Metaton. Pose it up. We're close to 8,000, but it's going to kind of bring you down. Eh, I just got to be careful when I'm watching for it. You want to hit multiple ones on its way up, so, or at least on its way down, so when it does a rewind on its way back down, you do the doodly. I think you get what I'm trying to talk about. The show must go on. Alright, here come lots of bombs. Ooh, kinda... Uh, oh man, I'm surprised I slid through that. Metaton, pose again. Keep it going. D drama! A action! Just be very careful. Got a nice little window even though I hit the bomb and did it do damage to me? Yes it did, so I better go ahead and heal again. <laughs> it's over 9,000 now. Plus 300 instead of... Was it 500 last time? Lights, camera, enough of this. Do you really want humanity to perish? Or do you just believe in yourself that much? Oh, uh, we have to do the bomb thing again. Uh, I'm not really getting my rhythm. I got no rhythm. You just keep losing. Uh, blah blah blah. You're trying to sing somebody to love. Kind of fits with this right here. Haha! -ha, how inspiring. Well, darling, it's either me or you. But I think we both already know who's going to win. Witness the true power of humanity's star. Gotta have some heart to do that. Okay, gotta watch for the legs coming in from the side. Are you an octopus in disguise or something? Be very careful of the things coming from there, and there we go, we're knocked down to that point. And we're still not quite at sparing range. 
keep the pose in. Pose dramatically. Then, are you the star? Can it really protect humanity? I guess I could. This is all to keep doing this. Alright. Kind of a moving target. Still reminds me of Kirby things, you know. I don't know. Kirby kind of comes to mind for whatever reason. I could bring in a lot of things that come into mind with Breath of the Wild, such as a stall not since moving eye that you have to finish it off with. Uh, we're just barely under that, so pose one final time, get over the threshold, audience nods one final time. Oh, look at these ratings! This is the most viewers I've ever had! We've reached a viewer call-in milestone! One lucky viewer will have the chance to talk to me, before I leave the underground forever. Let's see who calls in first. Hi, you're on TV! What do you have to say on this, our last show? Oh, hi, Metaton. I really liked watching your show. My life is pretty boring, but seeing you on the screen brought excitement to my life, vicariously. I can't tell, but I guess this is the last episode. I'll miss you, Metaton. Oh, I didn't mean to talk so long. Oh. No, wait, wait, Ugh. They already hung up. I'll take another caller. Metaton, your show made us so happy. Metaton, I don't know what I'll watch without you. Metaton, there's a Metaton shaped hole in my Metaton shaped heart. Ah, I... I see. Everyone, thank you so much. Darling, perhaps it might be better if I stay here for a while. Humans already have stars and idols, but monsters... They only have me. If I left, the underground would lose its spark. I'd leave an aching void that could never be filled. So, I think I'll have to delay my big debut. Besides, you've proven to be very strong. Perhaps even strong enough to get past Asgore. I'm sure you'll be able to protect humanity. Haha. <laughs> it's all for the best anyway. The truth is, this form's energy consumption is... inefficient. In a few moments, I'll run out of battery power and, well, I'll be alright. Knock him dead, darling. And everyone, thank you. You've been a great audience. I believe things turned out well, though. I, I managed to open the lock. Are you too? Oh my god. Metaton! Metaton, are you? Thank god, it's just the batteries. Metaton, if you were gone, I would've... I would've... I mean, hey, it's no problem, you know? He's just a robot. If you mess it up, I could always... just build another. Why don't you go on ahead? We could go on ahead. There's no way to go back out for whatever reason. I I just need a moment. Sure, I'll give you your moment. It's out of batteries. Uh, with this though, I'll just go into this next room and continue along. Just keep going along this path. Then Alpha shows up again. So, sorry about that. Uh, let's keep going. Alright, let's walk this way. Can I walk up against you? Dot 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 ellipses. Can't walk past you anyway because you're like a giant static moving object. So, you're about to be Asgore, huh? You must be... you must be pretty excited about all that, huh? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Let's keep on walking. Don't mind the holes in the wall. You'll finally... you'll finally get to go home. Here's an elevator. Wait! I mean, um, I... I was just going to, um, say goodbye and... I can't take this anymore. I... I lied to you. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone. It takes at least a human soul. And a monster soul. If you want to go home, you'll have to take his soul. You'll have to kill Asgore. I'm sorry. Well, that is quite the revelation. Next time on Undertale, we go in this elevator.
and we enter Asgore's castle and see if we can finally go home. Until next time, don't toast yourself and stay determined. Come on, Blueki. You know I'd never leave you behind. No, wait, wait, Blue, 